Section 3 You will hear a man called Frank talking to Dr Lindsay about what he should study if and when he returns for further classes. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hello, are you Dr Lindsay, the returning student's advisor? Yes, that's right. Are you Frank? Your appointment wasn't until 2, but that's OK. Please come in and have a seat. Thanks. I like to arrive early whenever I have anything to do. That's certainly a praiseworthy habit. Let me see. It looks like you've taken a long break from school, and I understand you wanted to have a chat about what you should study if and when you return for further classes. It's such a big challenge. I don't know if I'm crazy for doing this or not. Believe it or not, I know exactly what you mean. Before I began working here at the university, I taught primary school for nearly ten years. It takes a lot of courage to go back to school. I feel more shy and scared than the primary students I teach. In the schools I taught, I found today's youngsters are very sure of themselves. In terms of intelligence, I have a lot to teach them, and the maturity level of much of my class leaves something to be desired. But in terms of confidence, wow, a lot more confident than I am now, that's for sure. Stop fretting. A brave man is a coward who refuses to run. Let's talk about your strong points. You seem an intelligent man. What is it you would like to study? You see, I've been teaching children for a few years, but I think I'm happier teaching adults. I think teaching students in middle school is much more satisfying because they end up being much more grateful for your work. If I may ask, what got you interested in teaching adults? A lot of things, I guess. I met my future wife back in my first year of college. She always complains that I was more interesting then. She says that now I talk like I'm seven years old. That's probably from being with children all day. <laughs> Again, I know just what you mean. My husband used to say the same thing about me when I taught kindergarten. Anything else? Well, yes. Fairly often now, I run into former students and we talk. Some of them are getting close to being grown up. I guess I think more and more about how people develop over time. So I'm interested in the results of education, you know, the final stages. I see. Well, coming back to the university can be both difficult and very rewarding. There are some problems unique to returning students, you know, older students like yourself. What do you think is your greatest weakness? Well, I actually think my confidence is getting better. I'm definitely overcoming my introversion and starting to be much more comfortable in front of a class. To tell you the truth, I'm afraid I'm rather behind the times about many things. It's more difficult for me to chase after the popular things youngsters are fond of, such as iPhone, Twitter, if you name it. I think I understand. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. How old are you, 35? People at your age still go back to school for further education. I was a bit the same way. I mean, I didn't study at university till after I had a family, a husband and one child. My point of view was a lot different from your average 18-year-old girls, I can tell you. Gee, that sounds pretty rough. A family and college? Clearly you weren't unsuccessful, though. It was, Frank. It truly was. My first term at school was extremely stressful. But, excuse me, you're not here to listen to my life story. We're talking about your plans. 
Is there anything unique I should know about you or your past experience or plans? I'm afraid not. There is nothing interesting about my career or plans. It's really not too impressive. Now I forbid you to talk like that. This is your one life, and if you're not interested, why bother living it? Don't be so humble, Frank. Okay, okay. My wife says I'm a wimp. Let's talk about your dreams a bit. You want to teach adults, you said. What would you like to teach them? Well, when I first came to college, I really liked languages and literature. A lot of people have told me that for practical reasons, it would be more rewarding to choose business management as my major. But I made up my mind to study liberal arts once I got the idea of going back to school. I must say it's refreshing to meet someone who knows there's more to an education than computers and finance. Let's have a look at the university course catalogue. Excuse me, Dr. Lindsay. Before we do that, could I maybe ask you some questions about changes in university life? I think I need to discuss that so I know what to expect. Of course, I'm here to help you. The biggest thing to get used to is the change in technology. Professors present things on huge screens, many of which are interactive computerized whiteboards. You can write on them still and use them like a touch screen. They're really handy. No more sloppy scribbled notes on the projector. Let's see. I doubt you'll be living in student housing, so I won't go into all the improvements there. Mm, another major change that you'll enjoy is the plethora of resources available for students. As a student, you have 24-hour access to the gym and library privileges that include the use of school computers to scan, copy, and print, and of course the media library, which contains movies from all genres and most of the movies listed on AFI's top 100 movies of all time. The dining facilities are also not what they used to be. They offer choices for all diets, and you can expect a hot meal any time of day. Wow, things really have changed. I'll be sure to utilize all those great facilities in my time here. Thanks for all your help, Dr. Lindsay. I think that's all the questions I have for now. That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4.